Alright, welcome back. Green Leaf. Sorry y'all had to wait a few days, but we have this thing called a job, and yeah. they did too much too freaking soon. Three episodes in two days? Yeah, Oprah. Now, where they do that at? Oprah, but, hey. You know we review these shows. Y'all need to stop playing. Yeah, but we see going forward, they're going to do it on Wednesday. So, so that that's work out good. Out. So yeah. next week, we'll, we'll be on it on Wednesdays. Yeah. So, we shall see him as he is. Don't know what that had to do with everything, but anyway. Yeah, but anyway. So, um, Alexia comes around the corner and she tells um, Bishop Lester Wallace that the senator ain't going to let up on this thing. Um, this whole thing about the church books, it don't make news. Yeah, it's out there now. Now, now you just need to answer yeah, for you, this. Yeah, you're exposed now, player. So, he's like, uh, I guess we need to take a trip to Nashville. Yeah, we need to get on a plane. And Private go. jet. I said, okay, let, let's go ahead and go. We're going to finish up that scene because it really was nothing. At some point, he goes and talks to his wife about this here trip that he needs to take to Nashville to soothe over the senator. Because pretty much the senator, being a black man, that's mm -hmm. pretty much his, he don't made a, he don't yeah. wrote made, a check yep. that his hind paws can't Can cash, cash. And everything is falling apart. So he need to make himself look good. Yeah. So, yeah. so she said, oh. Why don't I just go with you? You know, I, yeah. I need to buy a new dress and all this good stuff. And she said, but we got to get on that raggedy jet. Come on now. Why don't we just get a new jet? I said, hmm. She said, matter of fact, why we just can't write him a check and make it go make away? It, let's, yeah, let's go there. Let's, yeah, let's just donate to his campaign. Because that would seem like what he after anyway. Yeah, but he was like, no, at this moment, he pretty much needs another black face to be with him. That's what he was saying in so many words. Mm-hmm. Then later on, we see that they're sitting there, and I don't know what you call it when you do private jetting because I'm not in that league yet. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't um, got that far. So yet. we'll just say they was at the, the private jet launching pad. Yeah, at their airport. At their airport, and this must be common that they have to wait a long time. Yeah, they said we wait for <laughs> hours. I was like, because I was like, we don't even wait hours. Yeah, I was like, why do you wait hours for on your own jet. private jet or your own plane? Because that's supposed to be the plane that the bishop owned. Well, come to find out, this plane is really, really, really old. Because y'all remember when, um... No, I'm not going to say it. Yes, I am. Yeah, I, I'm you I was going to say it. I was going to say it. I was going to get ready to say it. You need to start you a GoFundMe. <laughs> like Creflo Dollar. Like Creflo Dollar did to get you a new jet. <laughs> so the guy came over and he said, Look, Bishop Lester Wallace, um, they got a few leak on the plane, but... We don't we know where it is. It. But you can fly commercial if you like. She said, like, oh! oh! It's like, you that bougie now that you can't fly commercial? I hear that. I, we hear that a lot, though. We do hear that a lot. Yeah, we hear that a lot when people, when you, I guess when you arrive at a certain level, you too good to get on Delta, JetBlue, all them other freaking jokers, so you got too much money now. Your money ain't good enough for them. Yeah, and then when you pick me up, you have to bring, you had to pick me up in a luxury car. BMW Jags. And I know this off subject. God darn flights is freaking too expensive, y'all. Your price is way too high. You need to <laughs> cut it. <laughs> so you would have thought that he was asking the first lady to eat a slice of um, fried spam or something. Mm -hmm. She walks off. So Uncle Mac is over there with them too. Bishop um Lester Wallace said, Uncle Mac, just 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 go buy me a god darn jet. jet. Is that easy? I said, so she stumps her feet and you write checks. Okay, yeah. is this how it works? All mm -hmm. right. All right, now. All right, Sophia is going to her first lock-in. Now, I admit, because I used to be an atheist, when I first heard a lock-in, I didn't know what the hell it was either. <laughs> you going to lock me in a building and I can't go nowhere? Nah, she was confirmed with, Mama, they ain't going to make me pray. <laughs> I was concerned about that, too, when I heard uh -huh. Mama, too. I said, what do y'all yep. do in a lock-in? Yep. And my, can't nobody get to these chones if they need to, but they ain't with a lock-in it. Yeah, but I... Oh, go ahead. I ain't want to cut. Yeah, go I'm, ahead. My I'm trying to rush through this because we got dinner plans. Yeah, go we ahead. got some dinner plans. But I want to put this out here. Every church that I've been to that had a lock and said, we're going to lock the kids in all night. Yeah, I'll be all But night. it seemed like they always get out at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> so the parents are thinking that they can got the kids off their hand all night only to come find out you got to come back and pick them up at 12 o'clock. Come back. And we're going to see feed them some spaghetti and yeah. send them on their way. <laughs> so, um... Later on, Sophia and them, they go to the lock in. They watching this movie, and the movie sounds sound like, like a porn. porn. I was All like, moaning and girls like, what is they watching? So the little young Greenleaf girl, which we have not, I don't even remember her name. I can't remember her name either. And I've yet to really confirm who we're she is. We're going to call her Stoner. To. That's what we're going to call her. Stoner. Stoner. She sneaks out. Some dude was in the hallway. She comes back in and asks Sophia, you want to come out? You want to get 
Sophia was like, well, hell yeah, because y'all crazy yeah, as hell. Right. I need to get high to stay around y'all folk. They go out. It's two boys. They go out in the back smoking them a little something, 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 something. Um, they don't lock themselves out. Lock out. Yep. So they give Sophia the joint, and they was like, do something with it. This fool takes a lit joint and throws Throw it in, in the, the trash garbage. can. Tell you she green. That's why she green leaf. Green. By, basically. So they run around to the front of the church, get in. The guard caught them. And the guard was like, what y'all doing? She was like, well, uh, uh, uh she made up this stupid lie uh, about how the homeless people that was down there in the other place were chasing them. Uh, yeah. So they ran around and had to come through the front entrance. He was like, go ahead, sit down, go back in, God. It's good. And, and they oh, did that laugh they tell like they couldn't get themselves together. Just as, just as high as <laughs> they high could as be. Kite. So um, Kevin and the community man, the white community man, which I don't even know his name, they're overlooking the... Um, the homeless shelter and how they've come so far and the setup and everything and they having this good conversation and the um, white guy he's throwing out these subliminal messages and he was like you know this church right here feels like a pure partnership yeah because we make a good Con team yeah and we have a good connection i mean all the key all words there. and kevin hitting is on you, player. I said, hitting on you i said and kevin knew he was hitting yeah. on him so kevin was telling him you know look uh this is this is nice. Me and my mama used to be homeless at one point, so this is part of my passion. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be able to extend this hand to you and the community. And he cut the conversation short. I said, all right. Mm -hmm. Noah rose up on Gigi, Pastor Gigi, that is, put some respect on her wow, name. On her name. Um, look, join me and Isabella for dinner tonight. She was like, she cool with that? So it was her idea. It was her idea. I said, I That's see. That's a red you. flag number one right there. Isabella is over there. She's stacking the cards and trying to see what her competition is mm -hmm. all about. We're going to go ahead and go through it. They end up at some barbecue pit. It looked like Pierce Barbecue, the one we go to. When we yeah, go one in Williamsburg. Yeah. yeah. So they get out there. And let me go ahead and get you together real quick, Isabella. You're a beautiful woman. That you are. But what you're not going to do is... We know you came there to figure out if she was competition for you or not. Uh -huh. Why did you just come there looking like you just came off of a social worker case with your hair just pulled to the side, <laughs> pinned up in the back? No, you need to come out there looking like got on Gabrielle Union. Straight off the Jet magazine. Boom. I said, did she really just come here like she was having dinner with her girlfriends? <laughs> and you... And then right. she started asking her all these stupid questions. Yeah. Why are you back? Oh, I know why you're back. You're okay. back because your sister died. You're back trying to get in ministry? Oh, I wish I was more like you, just yeah. off the cuff, making decisions just off stupid the cuff. Stuff. That's it. Just come out and ask her. You want my do, man? Do you want my <laughs> man? Do you still love Noah? Just do that. Don't, don't. Don't don't play the games. I, I right. When you get older, games is stupid. I hate yeah. games. Just 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 come straight at me. Tell come me on. straight up. So later on, Noah pretty much um, cause she went to go get some boxes. Um, Isabella went to get some some to go boxes, and Noah was like, you know, I'm glad we had this conversation. I just want to let you know that we're clearing the air right now. Whatever we had going on in the past is the past. I'm sorry. We good. Um, we good. You know, I I'm lucky to have Isabella. I really love her. Da 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 da. So he let her know like, look, what we had was good, but I have really moved on. But that okay. was a lie. But I ain't believe it. I ain't believe him. Then we get hit. <laughs> Pastor Jacob. Pastor Jacob is hitting the yak. Yeah. But. Out the fancy clear bottle. Because he won't go on that date. He had to go on the date with one of the diggins. <laughs> and his wife. I've been depressed. And he telling the servant, whatever her name is, but it's Terry Vaughn. That's the girl. Yeah. So I'm um, telling her, look. I got to go and sit here with these people and put up a good front and get to know these people that I don't want to get to know. So then his wife, um, Clarissa, Chris. comes around the corner and was like, is he badgering you about how much he don't want to go to this and that? Because he doing all of this stuff for his daddy and for you. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jacob Bone not want nothing to do with ministry. Yeah, none of that. Nope. He got the drink to even get through it. Yep. <laughs> so Pastor Jacob, they end up going on this date. And the whole time he over there. He He's not out. even there. He ain't there. He looking out. He looking off north and south. He looking around the house and 
And the funny thing about it is, when you get an old deacon talking, they don't even realize you. They don't even realize. Oh, they just call they up their talking about their story, how they met. They got their first kiss, and he proposed, and she dropped the drawers, and, and all that mm-hmm. happened good and all. And now they're married. Now she now Clarissa is depressed. In her feelings. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, did Pastor Jacob take a very long time to marry you? Because, of course, they're married. Mm-hmm. So what, what part of that story triggered them emotions that came out of you? Yeah. Like you... Think you should be further ahead than you are? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm done with I, her. Yeah. I really am. Then we're going to get to a part where they finally leave this date. She's driving, which was very symbolic of the fact that she drives this relationship. And he's over there looking like, just just drop me off at the yeah, river. Just put me out. Throw me overboard. No, drop me off over at Alyssa house so I can get my <laughs> life. <laughs> so she finally gets him home. They're in the bed. He sleeps. She wakes him up and was like, we need to talk. Um, we really need to get help for our marriage because the person and the people that we used to be, we are not no more as a couple. You know, he said, we need to get help like therapy. She was like, yeah. He said, I will not, not go. go to a therapist. But you know. Uh, but something happened to him. Something yeah, bad something, happened to him with therapy. Yeah. It, or something, I think, he kind of, I, I picked this up when she woke him up. She said, he said, what I do? what I do? So I take it that Probably she probably been real nagging through the whole entire relationship. Like you know, since this is a church thing, it said that a nagging woman pretty much makes a man's heart go to the roof. He won't sleep on the roof. Or he want to sleep on the roof. Or a nagging woman sounds like the sound of a raindrop. You know, Proverbs. I know I'm not saying it. I'm just paraphrasing right now because we ain't at church. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a nagging woman will drive you crazy. You ain't never lying. Mm-hmm. Thank God I ain't one. Uh, Thank God. Hallelujah. Uh, too in- I'm too introverted to even do it. Um, we over at, what is it, Why Swan Songs? Why, why Songs Chinese Joint. That's what it sounds like. Kevin is at karaoke night killing, and not in a good way, a song. But his wife is over there just getting it up, getting mm-hmm. it up. And I said, she drunk. Yeah, she drunk. She tore up. She's so drunk, she think he sound good. He was all off key. But check high this. It was two gay guys over beside <laughs> her at the table directly beside her, ear gauging oh Kevin the whole time. Tell us some. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh Lord. Kevin did a quick two two, caught the connection, and gave hurry the, up. And gave the mic back there. Take this mic. Say hurry this mic up. is too hot. <laughs> got off that stage and went over there to where his white charity was sitting. And she was like, baby, you sound so good. And da-da-da-da-da. Next like, thing we here? know, there are two shots of fireball, fireball. coming he, towards them. He said, he, well, she was like, who ordered these? He said, complimented the two guys right there. The two gay guys don't <laughs> sent them two shots over to their got doing table. And she said, this dummy, this stupo said, oh, you sung that good to even the gay guys. Because they know music. They know music. Like, is you that stupid? No, they know your boo. And they was brave enough to do it to your face and send you. I'm going to blame it on, like, like uh, freaking Jamie, Fo- uh, Jamie Foxx said, blame it on the alcohol. So I'm just going to blame no. it on the alcohol right now. She they is might a, get ye- no, she is a typical sheltered church girl that don't know oh, shit that's, that's not about he? life. And she don't know nothing about the street? No. She ain't screaming. Cause you know those streets ain't loyal. Oh, is it them? Be ain't loyal. We will say streets because we don't cuss. We say we have complimentary. Um, we don't know if kids is watching. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, we try to keep it so, PG family friendly. Um, we see old Mavis, the auntie, Oprah Winfrey. She jacking up this boy named William because her drawer has been coming up short. Um, where my money at? I know you did it. Da 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 da. He's like, no, 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 I didn't. Then he finally admits that, look, I took the money because my mama's car is busted. But, oh, it didn't stop there. She said, why your mama car busted? Was she drinking and driving? Yup. Yep. So, pretty much, this boy, she has a soft spot for him, and I don't know who he is just yet. But he, she was like, I am concerned about you. I care about you. To heck with your daggone drunken mama. Mm-hmm. Because, evidently, the mama uses him to get what she, she wants, wants, which mm-hmm. most drunks are very manipulative. Very most drug so. addicts are very manipulative. So if they know they have that one person that would jump over the moon for them, they would do it. So this is William. 
And she said, look at here. You're going to pay this off and work. You're going to work every Sunday mm -hmm. cleaning yeah. out that basement, basement. until we're going to renovate this For the next four joint. Sundays. So you can't even go to church, player. You, you can't, can't go to church. You can be in the basement working. Don't you, eh? <laughs> so Charity and um, Kevin, they come in from a drunken night. She can't stand up nothing. She wants to take a um, pregnancy test. He was like, why can't we wait, wait, wait till tomorrow? No, I want to do it now. So she goes and sits on the toilet. And uh, he got to hold a stick for her because she so got on drunk. She pisses on the stick. <laughs> Later on, we see the dead laying in the bed. She knocked out sleep. But I already knew because he was awake. Yep. And any man that don't got a woman pregnant, you ain't going to get, sleep. He ain't getting no sleep. <laughs> Married or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he laid up there with the pregnancy test in his hand. And what I'm going to have to say about y'all on this show Give us some real sticks that we can read from our TV because yeah. I shouldn't have to rewind this back to see if it's positive or negative. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to go with the good one that says pregnant. Uh, not not pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Um, not the one you go and get from the freaking Dollar Tree. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting there talking about, is that a plus? Is that two yeah. lines or one? So, yeah. Charity is pregnant. Yeah, she prego. Later, he, de he depressed. He depressed. <laughs> and then later on in the um episode... He's back at the homeless shelter talking to um, the white guy again. And he mentions to him, you know, everything went off without a hitch that night. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was good. They had da, 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 good da. food there too, y'all. Man, We got good food at our yeah, homeless shelter. Good, yeah, was, Sometimes I, I want to spend the yeah, night. Yeah, they eating better than we are. Yeah. So, um, he brings up the conversation about, you know, me and my wife Charity are having a baby. That white yeah. guy's face cold. Drop. Right. Yeah. He said, oh. But he was like, don't you got some kids? He's like, no, nah, nope. just, it's just, just me. me. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, wrap all the rest of this stuff on up. He cut the conversation. And went on by his business. I said, all right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, before they ended this um, barbecue dinner, Noah, Isabella, and Gigi, Pastor Gigi, put some respect on her name. She gets a <laughs> phone call. She steps away. Ain't nobody but Danielle Turner. Danielle mm -hmm. Turner is the little girl that Uncle Mac Merv the perv, that's what I call him, is um, dad had been accused of messing with her. Later on, we see that Pastor Gigi was sitting at a pizza joint, and Danielle shows up. Danielle sits there and pretty much tells a bold-faced lie, but lie. This, is, this is what I think happened. Mm -hmm. Danielle's mama sent her. Yeah there mm -hmm. to pretty much get Gigi off of her back. Yeah. Because she said, how did you get my information? Church directory, da 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 um, And she said, um, I listened to your story, so tell me what happened. She said, nothing happened. I made this story up, you know, to it's get um, attention. attention. But she Come said, you now. know, that man only came around my house a couple of times. You know, it was nothing big. You know, I'm really, really sorry about it. So Gigi goes into a story about... um. She said, I listened to your tape, and everything that you said happened to you was the exact same thing that happened to my sister, Faith. So Danielle was like, well, tell me a little bit about Faith, and, you know, da-da-da-da-da, and, you know, what came of her now. So Gigi was like, Faith dealt with it, and dealt with it, and dealt with it, and I went to my parents. Well, she said her parents, as if they're not her parents. Yeah. That might come into play a little later on. Mm. So she, because she talked about them as if they're not. Yeah. <laughs> so she said, look, I went to them, and they didn't believe her. And pretty much everything went back to normal. So what Faith did was basically she made herself the human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And she thought that she would make everything better by making this go away. And she didn't get better. And eventually she started doing things and doing things and she killed herself. Yeah, committed suicide. This yeah. little girl gets all in her feelings and you could tell that she was ready to run up out of it. And she was mm -hmm. like, I'm sorry this happened to your sister, but that didn't it happen to, to me. me. I got to go. <clears throat> and she said, Gigi said, you and I both know. That this, this is did, the truth. Mm -hmm, that it did happen. And it did happen. And what really hit home for me, she was like, because my sister denied the allegation, just like you doing now, other girls have getting, she said a lot of girls have been raped. So Uncle Uncle Perv, Merv, whatever you want to call him, that James Caldwell said. Uh, no, he called him J Chester the Molester. Yeah, Chester the <laughs> And I scream. <laughs> So because you lying, pretty much, you causing you causing a lot of other girls is gonna be in danger of Merv the perv. Right. Cause he gonna, I'm pretty sure he got his eyes on some old chicks in the church. I thought they gonna show up to the lock in. To be honest with you, he probably was at the lock in. You said you said pervs hiding in the corner. They sit in the corner in the dark. 
where you can't see them and they eyeballing out like bruh, 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 that's what I want. Yeah. So pretty much she was like, you know, um, Danielle was like, well, maybe your sister didn't tell anybody because she was scared. So she was giving subliminal messages mm -hmm. that I'm scared. And that's why I can't say what I want to say. And that's and Gigi also said, and that's the reason that my sister is dead right because now. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, my God. So then Uncle Mac, uh, Merv the Perv, decides to show um, his sister Mavis a visit at her bar. Because he already know that Mavis... Don't tell Gigi. And Gigi is now all in the mix and messing up his um, mm. silence yeah. plan. So he was like, look. Hmm. The county would be real interested in this bar. You know, da 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 yeah, Turn into a museum. And she said, I own this up outright. He was like, I know that. But there are certain things that can happen to make them um, be able to take this over. Which is true. Mm -hmm. And it's called... Um, I can't think of what's called. Uh, when he they, said it in there, but I can't remember. He that. did. Um, um, eminent domain. That's yeah, what eminent it is. domain. Yeah. Well, they could come in and they could pretty much take your property, mm -hmm. even if you own it upright, if they feel the need that it's validated. So, she was like, "Look here, I don't know what happened to you, and yes, Mama and Daddy did impose some pain on us, mm -hmm. but you walk around here like Satan in the flesh, which." Okay, so something happened yeah. in their family as mm -hmm. well. And evidently, he the one that's carrying the weight, that mess. Mm -hmm. And instead of cutting it like she did, he's now imposing that on somebody else. Mm -hmm. He was like, look at here. In so many words, if you don't shut this mess up, your business is going to be gone. Yep, so you better tell Gigi to leave it alone. She said, look at here. This time you ain't gonna win. You ain't gonna win. You going down, bro. Yeah, you going down. Literally. And he walks away laughing so demonically. I yeah, said, like it's you funny. know what? I cannot with you. So what else? Uh blah 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 blah. The last thing that we're gonna talk about, because I ain't gonna talk about everything. Yeah. Is um Gigi was outside of the church talking to Noah, and she pretty much tells Noah in so many words, I lied to you when yeah. I left here. And the reason that I lied to you was because I didn't want to tell you the truth about why I was leaving. Mm -hmm. Basically, she was telling him that I left because I knew that Uncle Mac was messing with my sister, sister. Faith. Uh -huh. And because I was getting so intertwined with all of that and people not believing me or Faith, mm -hmm. I really just had to get away. Mm -hmm. So I lied to you and told you I think it would be best for us to, to see, see other, other people, people so that I could cut ties and that I could leave. But she said, this time, it's going to be different. Ooh, and then they grabbed hands. And I said, y'all y'all, y'all know. Wait a minute. Yeah, you, he yeah, engaged you. Yeah, y'all sitting yeah. down front of the church now. Yeah, yeah. People can see y'all. And that was basically it. So I'm glad they're slowing the train down. So we're starting to get some more information. Yeah. About learn. the um, background of these characters. But I'm telling you, it's some, some smoke in the city, honey. Yeah, it's some smoke in the city. And like I said, well, they, they, uh, they are revealing some stuff that's really true. It is. That go on. I'm just going to say not only church, but within the black community. Yeah. Because, you know, it's all pretty much black cast here. So, yeah. I like that everybody <clears throat> is um, shaded and beautiful. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like everybody ain't like ghetto black, yeah. right? Yeah, right. So it's that's... so many hues of our skin tones, and everybody yeah. is nice. Like everybody is freaking nice looking in this yeah. cast. Come on here, through. Come on, yeah. Oprah. <laughs> yeah, do it on up. So yeah, even so. look, even the servants look nice. <laughs> I said, come on, I'm with it. I'm with it. So yeah, that's good. That's, I mean, so far so good. I like. I like. Right. I and like. only guilty people feel offended. You know what I mean? Like yeah. somebody truth, and truth hurts. Truth hurts. Truth, truth hurts. It really hurts. And I. I, I, I was telling Lynette the other day, I said, uh, church folk like to air out everybody else's dirty laundry and call everybody else out. For but, when, but when we get called out, it's going to be smoke in the city. Uh, the devil. Yeah, the Satan, devil. I rebuke you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh so but, um, but I had all, I said in my comments, because somebody was saying um, they didn't really, um, they, they was real like, ooh, about them exposing the stuff of the black church. And I said, you know what? Uh, warning comes before destruction. Always does. God don't let people air out your dirty laundry on the first, second, third try. Mm -hmm. He give you a chance to make that thing right while he covering your mess. Mm -hmm. But he gonna pull a sheet back at some point and be like, hey, you ain't listen. You ain't get it you right. You ain't get it right. Here it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so here it is. Now it's on the own network so we all get to see. 
<laughs> but just know that everybody ain't like that, y'all. Everybody ain't like no, that. Everybody ain't like that. So and we, like we said last time, everybody is a work in progress. That's it. So if you find that church that's a gym, you hold that's on perfect. to it. When you find a perfect church, please please put it in the Leave comments. Leave it in the comments. Let in me know. Comments so I can go. But if you find one that's like 90% right, stay there. Yeah. As long as the pastor's straight now. As long as he good and he ain't getting in no mess because it, it flows from the head down. Now, if he 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 ain't, you know, he's sleeping with every hoochie coochie around and stealing money <laughs> and all that stuff, you run. Run. All well, right, we get ready to close out this church service. Yeah. Everybody bow, bow your heads. heads. Two up, two, two down, down. holla.